Swiggity swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, your coach for the Carolina Kelios for the UCL, and I'm bringing you guys our week two match of the Little Cup offseason up against the Bronx Bear Ticks, aka Joey Pokeaim MD. You guys know him as the uh, uh, a really good battler, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you right now, you guys, I am absolutely nervous. So, uh, let's see if I go to my Pokemon list. Oh, wait, that's it's my battle box whoops so we can't see my team until I actually go and uh, choose my team but uh, yeah I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys do please don't forget to hit that like button down below to show your support and all that good stuff don't forget to check out Joey's side about it down in the uh, video description below and go check out his channel as well um I am afraid I am afraid I am afraid I tried to build I, I try to build around his team and I, I mean I thought I built a good team, so I don't know. Let's just let's just go ahead and go over the team real quick. So we're gonna go battle start. Gonna pick my battle box and um, go ahead and show you guys what I'm bringing to the battle. Uh, while we right now, what he's bringing. So he brought his Zora. He brought Shelder. He brought Teddy Ursa, Growlithe. Uh, Star you the spinner and then Geodude's probably gonna lead off with rocks. Okay, so uh, I brought my special attacking Elicate choice scarf just in case he wants to bring uh, some sort of scarf of his own. Uh, my Elicate can outspeed pretty much anything on his team. Um, we're maxed out in special attack and speed. Uh, we're a modest nature because Elicate is really, really fast and can outspeed pretty much everything on his team. We have our Carvana for a speed booster. Um, Destiny Bond, just in case I need to get a for sure KO on something, and uh, I can outspeed everything on his team. Uh, Car Blast, I thought he was going to bring the Why Not, but he didn't bring the Why Not, so I guess I could just use Car Blast for the Zora, or probably not, because uh, Zora, I think Zora can get Flamethrower, I'm not actually sure. Uh, brought Tortuga uh, as my Shell Smasher, uh, and brought my, uh, blah, 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 brought Chimchar as my lead for Stealth Rocks, and then my Purloin just for uh, things like Thunder Wave and uh, to slow down his team a little bit. So I'm gonna lead off with my um, I'm gonna lead off with my Chimchar uh, because I feel like Chimchar would be a nice lead. Get my early rocks. Um, he does have Star as a spinner, but it's perfectly fine. Uh, hopefully we don't give him a chance to rapid spin anything away. But uh, let's go ahead and. Woo! Let's go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and go. So he didn't bring the why not? I guess because I have a, I have Carvana and uh, Car Blast, so it wouldn't make sense to bring it. But um, he leads with Shelter. All right, so he leads off with the Shelter. That's actually a really nice lead. Really nice lead. Um, but my Chimchar does actually pack the Hidden Power Grass, so. Uh, because I pack him hidden power grass. I'm not sure what kind of shelter he's running right now So I'm gonna go ahead and calc shelter real quick uh, hidden power grass will do Hidden power grass will do 50 to 70 percent against a normal shell smash uh, sweeping shelter um, We do pack the fake out as well. So what we could do is we could fake out um, We can fake out he'll flinch hidden power grass and I don't think it's gonna KO though, but we can go ahead and just do it. Why not? So he stays in. He fakes it. I fake out. He flinches. Okay, so this is an actual shelter. This is not his Zora. Um, ah. See, we have a focus sash. So, see, if he shell smashes right now. No, we can't let him shell smash because then he'll outspeed everything on our team. He might have berry juice. Thinking about it. He could have berry juice. He could have sash, but then his sash would be broken. What would be the best play for us? It wouldn't be best for us to switch. Why? Because then if he shell smashes, that's a free shell smash. We can't let we can't let him do that. So what we could do is we could just hidden power grass. If we hidden power grass, we get damage on it. If it has berry juice, we burn off the berry juice. Uh, and then our sash still stays intact too. Um, what if I went for flame 
thrower. That would do 35%. So I'm gonna go Hidden Power Grass. Oh, he outspeeds. Oh. Wait, does Shelter naturally outspeed Chimchar? Let me let me double check. I did not think. Shell, I did not think Shelter would outspeed Chimchar like that. Maybe I'm just maybe I just don't know anything about Shelter, or maybe he's Scarf. No, Shelter doesn't naturally outspeed. Okay, that's okay. All right then. Um, that was kind of uh, <laughs> that kind of sucked. All right, so I'm gonna go into Elekid. I I'm, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of going into Elekid. Um, we're Scarf. We are Scarf. So yeah, let's do it. Let's uh. Let's, uh Hmm. That was I wasn't expecting that at all. Cause what was our Chimchar speed? Check uh no, check summary. Our Chimchar speed was 16. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, there's no there's absolutely no way. Okay, yeah, he he has to be scarf, so we can send in our own scarfer. And we can force him to switch. What would he switch into though? I'm not sure. Let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think. Let us think. Um I don't I don't think he would stay in because he dies to Volt Switch, he dies to Thunderbolt. He dies. So what I could do, what if I went for Hidden Power Fighting, because that is what we have on our Elekid. What if we went for Hidden Power Fighting? We're a modest nature. That wouldn't do enough damage. But I don't think he's going to stay in. It would be ridiculous for him to stay in. But I shouldn't, I shouldn't over predict right now, though. But if he gets a free switch into his Geodude, he gets free rocks. I don't want him getting free rocks. Ah, would Hidden Power Fighting be the best move though? I can't lose out on my Elekid right now. I'm gonna Volt Switch. Okay, so he does switch out. He goes into Geodude, right? Jabberjock, yep, that's Geodude. Gah! Okay, so he gets free rocks. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Because what I can do is I can go into I can go into my Tortuga and Shell Smash. Okay. So he sets up his rocks. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to Shell Smash. And then he can't do anything. He has to switch out. Unless he's going to explosion. Or something. But I have sturdy. I have sturdy and berry juice. So. Okay, so EQs. That's fine. Okay. Does Geodude get Sucker Punch by any chance? I feel like it would. That'll be kind of jank. Oh, it does! He might be running counter. Does Sucker Punch work with priority moves? Does Sucker Punch work with priority moves?
Oh, man. Or actually, a better question would be, yeah, okay, does Quick Attack go before a Sucker Punch? Uh... Okay. So apparently from... It says two priority moves, Sucker Punch and say Aqua Jet. Aqua, if we're faster, it sh we should go first, which we are faster. Okay, so... I'm thinking of going... I'm gonna go for Aqua Jet. Let's do it. We have Sturdy, so we, we live a hit any, either way. He has Sturdy as well, which kind of blows, but whatever. Uh, oh, Berry Juice. Why didn't I think of that? Wow. Hey! Ah, oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I need to bring this Geodude down to a sturdy, though. I can't let anything. I can't. Uh-uh. I need to bring it down to a sturdy. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We have to lose out on a Shell Smasher, because I wasn't thinking. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why I didn't think about uh, Berry Juice when I literally just used it. Like, I literally just used it. So, this Geodude is, a, is an issue. That Geodude is, an, is a real issue. Uh... Da! Da-da, da-da, da-da-da. I think it'll be best. Okay, so we're gonna go into Carvana. Oh my gosh, this is so. This is difficult, dude. This is actually really difficult right now. Let's go. Okay, so he so he just lets Geo Dude die. Geo Dude did his thing. So, all right, Geo Dude's down. But now, what is he gonna go into? I think Star You doesn't Star You get uh, Thunderbolt or something? I feel like it does. Patrick, yep, there's Star You. It gets Thunderbolt. We can't take one. I don't know what kind of Star You he's he's running though. Let's see, what about Carvana? Dude, see our best bet? Our best bet would be to either switch, expecting the Thunderbolt. Ah, man. Cause like, Because if he if he thunderbolts, let's say Star U is let's say if it's life orb, yeah, thunderbolt destroys us. But then then again though, crunch. I don't know what kind of investments that Star U has on it. Ah, what investments does that Star U have? Cause it could have, he could be bulky rapid spin with Thunderbolt. And if, if he's bulky, if he's bulky rapid spin, if he's bulky rapid spin, he's eating a crunch. So I'm not, I don't think I should stay in. I'm not gonna stay in. I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into our uh, Purloin. He doesn't have an electric type on his team. So I could T wave if need be. Okay, so he does go for Thunderbolt. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What does that star you have on it? I'm gonna knock off. Staryu is such a weird Pokemon. I'm gonna go for the knockoff. We can take another Thunderbolt. 
So I'm so knock off if he switches out. We get to we get to get damage on whatever decides to come in. Um Oh man, that Geo dude. Yo, sturdy berry juice is <laughs> that is good. I mean, like he used it way better than I did, but I mean that's good. That is good. He withdrew pra uh, Patrick. All right, sweet. So Patrick is gone. Little Jackie, who's that? Growl it. Intimidate. That works. That's fine. Knock off your Eviolite. Okay. Bum 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 bum. What do Growliths even do? Or what can a Growlith do? In terms of little cup. It could be a Willow. Does Growlithe get close combat? It does. Ho oh, ho boy. I ain't about that. I want this Growlithe paralyzed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh man, I'm just letting Pokemon die left and right. All right, sweet. Okay. I need to figure out how to handle this Growlithe though. Like, I don't know how I want to handle it. Because, like... It's... Oh, man. Let's see. What about... Let's see... Growlithe. Defensive. Let's go. Let's see. Allocated Special Attacker. Yeah, Flare Blitz just bodies. Oh, my gosh. I can't... I can't afford that. I can't I can't afford that. Hmm. Growlithe is such a Ah, I wish I didn't lose my Tortuga. Okay. Let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think. He could flare blitz. He could close combat. He could Wild Charge. He could Will O Wisp. What would he do? I, if I were him, nothing on my team appreciate, pre, appreciates a Flare Blitz outside of Carvana. Well, actually, no, Carvana wouldn't even appreciate it. So I'm going to stay in with Purloin and just st keep knocking off. Just get damage on this thing. Willow. Okay. Okay, so he Willow Wisp. Which is perfectly fine. I wish I had a fire type that could like take that. Wait, I had Chimchar, but Chimchar died. So, so but it's okay though. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yo, we're like minus two or minus three, because the burn cuts our attack in half. No, hang on. Well, but, no. Basically, our Purloin's not doing any damage. We were minus one from Intimidate. And now our attack is cut in half because of burn. Oh my gosh. I'm not making the right plays. I really wish I really wish I read the Geodude switch in because like I don't I don't know. The Geodude switch in was way too obvious and it's like I could have just done it, but I didn't do it. So, I don't know. Yo, this Purloin is not dying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Berry juice is stupid. Berry juice in Little Cup is just the dumbest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Like, can we just take a moment to appreciate Berry juice? <laughs> Alright, let's take just let's just take a moment out of our day to appreciate Berry juice. So he has Morning Sun. Okay. So he has Willow Morning Sun. So he, he looks like to he looks to be the defensive variant. Which again, nothing on my team appreciates a flare blitz from this thing. So what I want to do is let this purloin go. Like I need this purloin to go. Cause oh wait, he has flamethrower. He doesn't have he doesn't have flare blitz. 
Wait, so how much would a flamethrower do? I still don't want anyone else taking any damage though. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let I'm gonna let this purloin go. And then what I will probably end up doing. Let's see. Carvana. Yo, waterfall doesn't KO. Ugh. Why doesn't waterfall KO? It's okay though, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, it's a two hit KO, but it doesn't KO. I'm playing this all types of weird, dude. He's gonna have a morning sun. Probably should have expected him to do that, but... I don't know what to do against this Growlithe. Like, I, I actually don't know what to do. Because, like... Because, like... <laughs> this thing just is so Ugh. you know it's just like Ugh. I don't know I don't know what I want to do I don't know what I want to do against this Growlithe and he looks to be defensive though so because he looks to be defensive I'm gonna go for the waterfall I'm gonna try to get as much damage on it as possible, or not, because he switches out and goes into the shelter. Which is a good play, good play by him. Was that a crit? That was a crit. Okay. But now, shelter has base 40. Would a Choice Scarf Shelter outspeed us? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. At least it's not a 6-0. At least it's not a 6-0. <laughs> At least it's not a 6-0. I'm not playing right, but I don't know Little Cup, though. Like, Well, I don't think any of us know Little Cup as much, really. So... This Growlithe, he, ah, good, smart man, this Joey. Smart man, this Joey, dude. Smart man, Joey is. Switch out the Growlithe, go into Shelter, sack off the Shelter, bring back in the Growlithe, get the Intimidate drop. But I'm not switching out, though, so. What is he doing now? Oh, star you. Yo, he is reading me like a book. I don't like this book. This book is a this is a very bad book. <laughs> oh man. This is ridiculous, dude. But Carvana is disgusting though. But like again, can we just appreciate berry juice though? Let's just appreciate berry juice. That's really good. Hey, let's lower the defense. Let's go. No? Nah. Scald. That's gonna kill. All right, that's fine. That is that's perfectly fine actually. Uh, that Growlithe is still alive. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and just Thunderbolt everything because I'm gonna Thunderbolt everything because I mean I'm just gonna Thunderbolt everything. The Geo dude is gone. He has nothing that resists it, so why not? So we just Thunderbolt. Okay. That darn Growlithe though. That darn Growlithe. Oh no. I don't like this Teddy Ursa. How much does a Elekid special attacker Teddy Ursa? Oh, Thunderbolt doesn't KO. I feel like he's going to protect. 
feel like he's gonna protect or something. Oh man. I'm not gonna stay in. I'm gonna switch out. 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 Because I could stay in and just Thunderbolt for days, but I feel like he's gonna protect to get the either toxic boost or uh, the toxic orb. Yep. Okay. There it is. So I'm just gonna let this thing die. Did you know? Did you know Car Blast gets no guard? Like. Why? Why didn't I go for Drill Run? I'm not reading his switches, dude. Man. This is ridiculous. And we're choice banded. Oh, I really wish we weren't banded. Yo, I should have Drill Ran. I should I should have Drill Ran him, but I didn't. Oh, well. If we can land a Paralysis right now, this Growlithe will be gone. Because we're not missing Megahorn because of no guard. So. Ah, oh, dude, if I went for Drill Run, that would have been legendary. <laughs> that would have been legendary. Come on, Paralysis. Nope. Honestly, though, it's okay. It's okay, though. It's going to end in a 2-0. But it's not, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad. I mean, I played horribly. I already know the comment section is going to tear me to bits because I didn't play. I didn't play right. But I mean, I don't know. How much would a hidden power fighting do to, let's see, hidden power fight? Oh, it does just as much as a Thunderbolt would on a, on a Teddy Ursa. So it's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Let's just Thunderbolt, get the Growlithe out of here. He goes into Teddy Ursa. I wish I got my rocks up. If I had gotten my rocks up, that would have been ah man, I wish I I wish I wish I wish I prioritized the rocks, but I didn't. So I don't know. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. Cause I'm locked in. I'm scarf. So If I, I wish I wasn't Scarf, but then again, like, what am I going to do? So, I'm just going to Thunderbolt here. There it is. And there's the facade. And we're gone. <laughs> ah, man. I wish. Ah. I didn't play that match right. So, that was my fault. Like I, I knew, I knew what my mistakes were, but I do. Uh, I forgot. I don't even know what I was gonna say right there. GG to my opponent. Holy crap! I am. I lost my whole train of thought. But yo, GG to uh, Joe. He played very well. Uh, we just misplayed all over the place. Um, hey, at least it was a two zero. You know, I, I'm, I'm okay with a two zero. I'm okay with getting two zero. You know, at least it wasn't a six zero. Um, he played that Geo dude very well i mean i expected him to bring geodude i expected him to lead with the geodude and i still i don't know i i wasn't thinking sturdy berry juice on geodude like i wish i thought of it but i didn't think of it i was like but then it's like i used the same exact strategy and like i was like oh well but uh i do recognize where i misplayed uh, so, you know, please don't tear me apart in the comments, even though you're probably going to tear me apart in the comments anyway, because I played, like, I misplayed, like, badly, especially with all the Pokemon that I did have, but, um, I had fun. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Again, good game to my opponent, good game to Joey. Uh, Teddy Ursa is absolutely terrifying when it comes to Little Cup, because Facade, pretty much Oko's, anything that doesn't, that doesn't resist it, so, um... <laughs> like uh toxic boost or not toxic boost but uh like a status ailment plus facade and a stab as well yeah teddy Ursa is okoing a lot of pokemon um that doesn't resist and uh, doesn't have sturdy or whatnot so that's really good that Growlithe, that Growlithe came through um did we even see all the moves on the Growlithe? flamethrower will-o-wisp morning sun 
I don't know if we even saw all the moves on the Growlithe. I don't know, but I really wish I got my Stealth Rocks up. Uh, I, feel, I feel like if I got my Rocks up, then the match could have gone a little bit differently, but I wasn't really expecting um, Shelter to be Scarf, if it was Scarf. Uh, I think it was, but maybe I might be wrong. I'm not necessarily sure, but uh, he rock blasted and broke my sash. <laughs> so uh, there was that, and then um, the obvious Geodude switch in. I I really wish I just went for Hidden Power Fighting right there, but I didn't. Or I really wish I I carry Hidden Power Fighting over Grass because I had Hidden Power Grass on. Um, I had it on one of my Pokemon. I can't remember what. Oh, Chimchar. I had Hidden Power Grass on my Chimchar. Um, you're probably thinking, Jay, why not run Grass Knot? Because uh, he didn't. I mean, Grass Knot works uh, depending on how heavy the opponent is. I mean, Little Cub, most Pokemon aren't really all that heavy. So, you know, I ran Hidden Power Grass instead. So, um, yeah, but I, I, I kind of wish I ran Hidden Power Grass, but on uh, Elekid. I'll probably do that next time, but uh, anyway, I'm going to get out of here, so I hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys did, please don't forget to hit the like button down below, to show your support and all that good stuff, don't forget to check out Joey's side of the battle down in the video description below, and uh, next week we will be taking on the Toronto Togekiss, so hopefully we can pull through with the win, um, uh, and uh, yeah, let's just hope we pull through with the win next week, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, good game to my opponent, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.